Hi guys, it's Colette, and for day seven of my 12 days of Christmas nail art, we're going to be working on these Drip Drop Blobicure Christmas Tree Decals. If you'd like to see the rest of the series, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Several hours before you're going to want to do your manicure, or ideally even the night before, you're going to want to make your decals. I'm going to start out with using Ness as the base color, and you want it thick enough so that the other colors are able to kind of spread freely. And I'm using the Miracle Mat just to kind of make sure that I'm making them the right size uh, so that they're long enough to fit on my nails. Like I said, make it a nice thick layer, something that the other polish can, can flow in. And then we're going to start dotting on the other colors. Want to vary the sizes and placements of the dots, and we're going to do several layers. These decals have been drying overnight, so I'm going to start peeling them up. Hopefully this is a good experience. I'm going to just find the edge and get under there with my tweezer. And then, oh look at that. That's satisfying. I don't even need the tweezer. I'm just going to gently peel it up like that. And then I have a lid where I'm just going to kind of set them until I trim them. The next step is going to be cutting the decals into triangles for the trees to apply on your nails. And I'm going to just basically go for it. I'm going to try and keep the triangles somewhat similar shaped, but I'm just going to pick where I want my first one to go, make the cut, and then cut along the other side, making the triangle. So there's our first tree. And then I'll just repeat that. So in this case, I can flip that upside down. And, you know, I think I want to bring it in a little bit. So you can, you can make judgment calls like that. So trim off that edge. Give it a little bit more of an angle here. And then trim off this strip here. There, we've got another tree. And they may not end up exactly the same size. You can, of course, keep trimming, but you can't add polish back, so be careful as you go along. And cut out enough for all of your nails. Starting off with clean, dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm using today are from Zoya. For the Drip Drop Blobicure, I'm going to be using Ness, Wyatt, and Merida. For my base color, I'll be using Trixie, and then to adhere the decals, I'll be using Yellow Stopper. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got my base color applied. I have all my little Christmas tree decals on a lid here. I've got a tweezer just to get them up from the lid a little bit easier, but I think I'll be using my fingers to place them since they're they're pretty good sized once I get the the yellow stopper on. I'm going to be going to aim the point not quite to the cuticle. I want to leave a little bit of room for possibly a rhinestone accent. I'm going to decide for sure once the trees are on and still a little bit of silver visible. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the yellow stopper right down the center and all the way to the tip and then I'm going to go ahead and stick, whoa, you're a little bit wet, aren't you? I should maybe let that dry a little bit more. No, that's okay, I think. This is my shortest needle right now, so this is going to be the biggest challenge. I was going to trim it, but because it's sliding around, I'm going to go ahead and place them on my other nails and then come back and do the trimming. Once these are fairly well adhered, once the yellow stopper has slightly dried, you can go ahead and trim them. I'm going to use a cuticle nipper and just from the underside, I'm going to get as close to the tip of the nail as I can. Trim it off. Trim off that little extra tiny piece I can see there. I'm going to repeat that for all my nails and then if I need to get any closer, I'll use my cleanup brush and polish remover right at the tip. I decided the tree does need a little topper, so we're going to be using these little iridescent rhinestones. I've already got a handful of them out here. And I'm once again going to be using the yellow stopper to adhere. In this case, I'm just going to use a tiny little smidgen right at the tip of the tree. I'm going to pick up a rhinestone and carefully place it at the top. I'm going to press it down into that yellow stopper. Try to make sure it stays centered on top of the tree also. And I'm going to repeat that on all my nails. Finally, we're going to finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I think this might actually be my favorite so far in the series. They're just so freaking adorable, and I didn't know what green design I was going to be doing when I started the testing, and this manicure just developed over the course of a couple hours. I'd really love to hear what you guys think of it down in the comments. I just think it's incredibly cute. We'll be watermarbling with these colors for tomorrow's tutorial, so I hope you stay tuned for that as well as the rest of the series, and as always, thanks for watching.